Hello everyone and welcome to episode 6 of Helliverses. Shout out to Oscar Cypher 694 for the name. Today we have a matchup that I've been waiting to talk about for a while now. The Fallen Angel of Hasbin Hotel and the Dream Demon of Gravity Falls, Lucifer Morningstar and Bill Cypher. So who wins this fight between a duck obsessed angel and an overpowered Dorito? Let's find out. Hey guys, it's Gabriel. It's one two three five. Today I'm going to do a backstory of Lucifer. Lucifer is a fallen angel and the father of Charlie, and a super character of Hasbro Hotel. Prior to the creation of Earth, Lucifer was a fallen angel said to be a dreamer with a tactical ideas for all creation. But the elders of heaven saw him as a troublemaker who possessed the I mean possessed a dread to to the order of the world. He watched as the angels began to expand the universe and creation of Adam and Lilith. The first humans after Lilith left Adam, Lucifer met her in the Garden of Eden, and the two fell in love with each other. With Lilith wanting to share the power of free will, offered Adam's second wife, Eve, the fruit of knowledge with this evil made its way to Earth, subsequently created hell. As a punishment, I mean, as a punishment, both Lucifer and Lilith were sent to hell, where Lucifer could only see the cruel and the wicked that came from humanity. As ashamed as may ashamed, Lucifer lost his will drink in hell. Lucifer, now a fallen angel, became the ruler of based on his angelic powers, ruling. All over all the demons that reside there. At a known point, Lucifer beca became part of an order of powerful demons called the Seven Deadly Sins, with each member embodying their res respected sin with his being pride. At another point, he married Lilith and later fathered a daughter named Charlie Morningstar with his wife. Roughly seven years later, before the events of the main series, Lilith left Lucifer for unknown reasons. This sent himself, sent Lucifer into a deep depression over the loss, isolated himself, his kingdom, and daughter to cope with is to the heaven, I mean, to the hotel by Charlie itself, brought Charlie to heaven, forgot Adam in the final battle, and set up a small rival with Alistair. <laughs> My daughter wants to see me! Take that depression! Bill Cipher is a triangular dream demon who exists in the mind slash dreamscape and is the true antagonist of Gravity Falls, secretly being responsible for many of the most important events and leading up to the main show. Years ago, Bill made contact with Stanford Ford Pines, brother Stan Pines, and second uncle to main characters Dipper and Mabel, posing as a muse who reveals himself only once every century to a special individual. Tricking Ford Pines into thinking that he was a friend, Bill promised the answers to all his questions as long as Ford allowed him access to his mind. Ford eventually built a trans-universal portal that he believed would bring answers to important questions until he discovered the true purpose of the device. The portal would act as a connection between the real world and the realm of nightmares, allowing Bill and his friends to pour through, leaving their realm to claim another universe. However, Ford shut the portal off and denied Bill access to the universe. Years later, after Bill reveals himself to more members of the Pines family and begins to stir up even more trouble in Gravity Falls, he inches his way closer to his goal. As of the episode Weird Mageddon Part 1, he has managed to finally achieve physical form and enter the real world and begin to spread madness and chaos throughout the globe. However, due to his cockiness, he was tricked by Stan and Ford Pines and was finally erased from existence for good. Or so we thought. Remember, reality is an illusion, the universe is a hologram, bye gold, bye! So now that we've gotten over their backstories, let's go over the categories that we're going to be talking about just in case you guys are unfamiliar with this channel and these types of videos that I make. The categories that we're going to be talking about are strength, durability, stamina, lifting strength, intelligence, powers and abilities, experience, battle intelligence, and weaknesses. 
and I even got some special guests to help me with this video. And I'll put their channel links in the description below so that way you guys can check them out. But anyways, without further ado, let's finally get into this debate. Well, 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 well. Who is this? Who is this man? Are you the bellhop? Oh, I'm the only one that matters. See, you messed with my daughter, and now I am going to fuck you! Now, isn't this interesting? My old puppet is back for an encore! You think you can stop me? Go ahead, Pine Tree, show me what you got! First is strength. Lucifer, according to his wiki, is said to have mountain levels of strength, and it's likely higher. And this makes sense, being that he's the ruler of hell and at the very top of the hierarchy. And as seen in the season finale, he is superior to Adam, who is a highly ranked angel in heaven. And, and he was previously sweeping through several demons like Alistair, Serpentius, and Charlie. Lucifer is, su is so superior to Adam that he wasn't even trying during their fight, actively messing with him. And as a fallen angel, he possesses several of his angelic power. And this is also considering that Lucifer is one of Hell's few magic users, with only the most powerful demons being able to use magic. Bill, on the other hand, doesn't have any confirmed level of strength according to his wiki, but it is stated that his strength is at least universal level, and likely even up to multiversal level of strength causing many different dimensional rifts, nearly destroying Earth, and destroying his homeworld. So, since this is extremely obvious, Bill gets the point here, because it's unlikely that Lucifer can even remotely challenge Bill when it comes to strength. So, that's strength for us. Alright, now I'm going to give the mic to one of my special guests here, Skip Guy. He's going to be talking about the next few categories, so Skip Guy, passing the mic to you. All right, now time for the feats and statements for Lucifer and Bill. So that we know, um, in the first episode of House of the Hell, it was stated by Charlie that Lucifer has created hell and that's a dimension. He, al he also took down Adam that was the first man with little to no effort without even trying. He was basically just toying with him. Now Bill feats and statements. So Bill has create a whole dimension riff into his own dimension and the gravity falls dimension bill also says he's controlled space matter and since the time baby's gone time itself bill also said he destroyed his own second dimension just for fun and bill said he could make a whole new dimension without no restrictions or laws Bill also one shot a time baby that was a whole concept of time itself. And if he keep have the dimension riff in this world, he could rip the fabric of reality itself. So Bill gets a point. Next is stamina. L Lucifer doesn't have any known stamina in the show that we know of. And Bill has infinite statement according to his wiki, though it can be dependent on his possession of souls. Like when he was over Dipper's, bo Dipper's body and couldn't recognize that he was getting tired, implying that he was getting tired for something that was new to him. So Bill has more evidence that he has more stamina, so Bill gets the point. Next up is speed. Lucifer, according to his battle wiki, is said to have hypersonic speed. As the most powerful being in Hell, he should be far superior to everyone else in the Hell's hierarchy, easily being able to dodge Adam's and Holy Light attacks, as well as reacting to his own movements while flying. Bill, much like his strength, is unknown, although he's able to close a gap several meters away from him, and it showed that he can cross a nearby galaxy in seconds. So again, Bill gets the point for speed, just because we don't really think that Lucifer could be that fast. I mean, fast enough to cross an entire galaxy in only a few seconds, like Bill. So, Bill will get the point now. Alright, now I'm going to be passing the mic to my other special guests on this episode, Shadow and Gabe. They're going to be talking about the next couple of categories before we finally get to the end of this. So now, I'm passing the mic to Shadow. So Shadow, take it away. Okay, next up is durability. Now for Lucifer, we've only been able to know his durability since he can only be harmed by angelic weapons. And Bill Cipher 
hit what we've seen, he can only be killed by what that can target his soul. And he can easily regenerate anything that can one anything that doesn't fully envelop his body, he can easily regenerate. So that's a point for Bill Cipher. Okay, next one is abilities, and this one's kind of clear front, since we've seen uh, Lucifer's abilities with him being able to fly, and we don't, and that's pretty much it for his abilities. But as for Bill, we've been able to see him erase people from existence, targeting their souls, which his abilities can hurt souls. He can regenerate attacks from his souls, and he can also possess bodies from making deals, which would have also been useful if I didn't make a deal with him. Oh wow, it is great to be back here. Now, let me finish my abilities for this bozo. I can be able to go through your dreams and target your soul direct. I don't see anything that this angel can do anything. Eh, he's gonna die anyway. So what's the point of this battle? Anyway, I'll hand back control of this bozo. I'll be back. Next up is experience. Bill Cipher is said to be trillions of years old and is said to be older than the galaxy itself, while Lucifer is said to be billions of years old and older than the Earth itself, and neither of them really show any signs of aging. So while they're both old, Bill again gets the point, since he's said to be trillions of years older and older than the galaxy itself, but I may be wrong with this, but just for now, Bill will get the point. Second to last is battle experience. Lucifer knows how to mock and toy with his opponents like Adam, causing him to make irrational decisions and also causing him to have the beating of his life. Bill is also sort of a mix between Lucifer and Adam when it comes to battle intelligence, since he's always messing around and mocking his opponents, but once you get under his skin or annoy him a lot, he will make irrational decisions and causes him to lose a fight. So because of this, I think I'll give both of them the point here. Since both of them do mock their opponents a lot, although we've only ever seen Lucifer do this once, and Lucifer can be emotionally manipulated like, like what happened with Alistair, and Bill will rage once he gets annoyed. Finally, we have weaknesses. Bill will do irrational things at times and is extremely cocky and arrogant. And his regeneration does seem to take time, as he said so himself when he complained about how long it would take to regrow his eye. Ah, my eye! Do you have any idea how long it takes to regenerate that? And if he is in someone's mind, he can be erased like how he was in the last episode, but only if he or only if the person on the other side has a mind erasing machine or whatever. And just like Runkle Stan in the final episode. You're making a mistake! I'll give you anything! Money, fame, riches, infinite power, your own galaxy, please! No! What's happening to me? And you're always gonna be a god under one! The game is going to be a girl! It's not gonna be a girl! It's not gonna be a girl! Lucifer, on the other hand, was depressed at the beginning of Hasbin Hotel due to the separation of him and Lilith and him being absent in Charlie's life. This, combined with his prideful nature, considering that he literally represents the sin of pride, can make him easily 
uh, manipulated emotionally, just like how Alistair did. So both of them will get the point here. Simply because of both of their cockiness and pridefulness, which causes them to make dumb decisions sometimes. So now we finally come to the conclusion of this episode and finally me finishing editing this. And yeah, this honestly didn't go as I wanted it to be. I wanted this fight to be closer. I really did, but I don't see Lucifer winning this. So Bill wins this fight because of the many different varieties and abilities that Lucifer probably never faced before in his life. Then like mind and reality manipulation, elasticity, etc. As much as I love Lucifer and Hasbin Hotel, though I am a Team Husk fan, I don't really see him winning this fight. But also, at the same time, I don't think that Bill could kill Lucifer, because angels can only be killed with angelic weaponry. And while Bill claims to know lots of things... Lots of things. I think Bill could figure out Lucifer's weakness and kill him with angelic weaponry. Though, I think it could depend on where they're fighting. Because I don't think it'll be likely that Lucifer and Bill will be fighting in the overworld. But also at the same time, I don't think that this fight could happen in hell either. But either way, Bill is still the winner of this fight. So thank goodness we finally made it through the end of this debate. And you guys really seem to agree with me that Bill would win this fight. Let me know in the comments below who you guys want to see in a future episode. And stay tuned till the end of the video because the next fighters are going to be revealed. And also, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and turn on notifications to be notified when a brand new Hella vs. episode is released. And also, I want to thank these guys for helping me with this video, Oscar Cypher for the name of the series, and Bluechar17 LOL for this animation. I'll be putting all of their channel links in the description below, so that way you guys can check out their channels and support them. But that's going to be it for today's video, folks. I've been your host, Lunacy Umbreon, and I'll catch you guys next time. Let me out or I'll eat your dreams! Uh, uh, peace out.